next drawer is my lip drawer. This is like lip glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, <clears throat> lip oils, you name it, it's in here. So first I have a nice lip gloss in the shade Vita Loca, which I use all the time. I have a Buxom Wildly Whipped lipstick that I love. This is super lightweight in the shade Moonlighter. It's like a watermelon red, so I don't wear it all that often. I have a MAC Retro Wear and Liquid Lip Palette in the shade Slipple Orchard. I have a Too Faced Melted Metal me Little Lipstick in the shade Melted Metallic Violet. I used to wear this all the time and I have not worn this in forever. <clears throat> I have a NARS Lip Gloss and Hot Sand which I wear during the summer because it's like a peachy color. If you not peachy, it's like a warm color that I never wear. Then I have a NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade exotic it's like a brick red i have a oh i love this this is a tart lip sculpture in the shade vip and one side is lipstick which i need to hold up it's super pretty and then the other side is a gloss that i can try to make it a little hard no i got it okay it's a little bit of a thicker gloss but it's a gloss i wear this all the time it's also a really pretty color on me like on my skin tone I need to like adjust my phone. I have a Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lipstick in the shade Embrace, which I love. I have a Revlon Calistay Lipstick in the shade Stiletto. An Elf Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cranberry. I have a NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Embellishment. This is like mauve, so I never wear it. I have an e.l.f. tinted lip oil in the shade Coral Kiss. This is something I wear all the time. It's a level one color stay lip stain in the shade One Honey Dolce. Isn't such a pretty shade? No. So I had to put the cap back on that. Next, I have a bite lipstick in the shade Two. Let me untap it. Okay. This is what it looks like. Let's use the top back on that one. Um, I have this. This is the most long wearing lipstick I own. It's the Measurable Differences Posh Matte like the Lipstick in the shade Drama, and this is so pretty. I have, this is a Mac Honey Love lipstick, which I love so much. And this is Mac Honey Love. This is what it looks like in the tube. Let me put the cap back on it. I also put a little swatch on the hand and it's so pretty. I have a Too Faced little peach lip oil in the shade Pure Peach and it smells like peaches. It's extremely moisturizing. I have a lip gloss that I took from my mom in the shade Amour. I have a NYX lip lingerie in Teddy. A Maybelline Baby Lips that I love. It's a Red shade, I don't love, but like you know, I like it, and I wear this during the summer months and winter time, like during the holidays. I put another Revlon on matte lipstick, or not on uh, Revlon on Elf matte lipstick in the shade Mulberry Maven. So I have a tart little lip paint in Birthday Suit. <clears throat> and a MAC Watch It Glam Lip Color in Ning. The next little section of the caddy has like eyeliners, mascaras, eye belts. So first of all is the Siete London Fierce Flex Eyeliner. This is a great eyeliner. I have a NYX Michael Black on so in chocolate, which I love a lot. It's very nice. I have an e.l.f. eyeball gel. A Measurable Differences Lash Extension Mascara. This is a Tarte Nanny Mascara. Let me open it. I love this with bottom lashes because if you can see the little prickles on it, they're perfect for getting those bottom lashes. This is just a mini of this, I believe. Um, I have a full size Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is my go to mascara. I wear it every day and always count on it to save the day. Let's put the cap back on that one too. There we go. Also, Oyama Mas Naguya in Black Brown, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mini, and a Pure Fully Touch. We're done with that catty little bin thing, so up here are just some of my favorite products, or just my most go to. This is the Marc Jacobs Genius Style Foundation 
in the shade Golden Deep. And I always use this to warm up my foundation if it's a little too light for me at the moment. Then I have the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Starstruck. And I'm a big highlight junkie, so that's a special one to my heart. I'm a swatcher. Sorry about that. You can see it shimmer nice and bright there. It's so pretty. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. This is an amazing primer. It does not disgusting, but it works really well. So. Then I have a Makeup for Every Ultra HD Foundation. Y2 5 And then is the color. Sorry, I was laughing at a text I got. Then I got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, which is my go-to gloss. So that's why I'm Next fine. is this little like thing on my dresser that literally hide me. Um, that literally just has two products. So first is this is a mini because I didn't feel like buying the full size. Also couldn't find the Fasali Rose Gold Elixir in the full size. I can only find Unicorn or not? Yeah, Unicorn Essence. But I like this one better because it has little gold flakes. Let me try to open it. Let's not because I want to drop it because this was expensive for like an. These literally 0 0.34 ounces, but it has little gold flakes in it, so not quite worth the money. I just want to like not ruin it. And then of course my go-to Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spice. is my face. Next is my blushes, so they're in this little Real Techniques little blush holder that I got from Real Techniques. So the first blush is the Lexi well, Luxi, Luxi 514 blush blush, and I use this blush all the time. It's super dirty. I need to clean my blushes. Then I have this Lottie London brush that I use for inner corner highlight. A Real Techniques lip brush that I don't ever really use. A Real Techniques stippling brush that I use for like really liquidy foundations that I actually don't have anymore. I had a NYX face drop thingy that I used this for but I dropped it and it broke so I never use that brush anymore. Then I have an Eco Tools skin perfecting brush that I actually use to blend out concealer if I want to blend concealer out with a brush. My setting brush, which is a Real Techniques setting brush. This Calia big fluffy powder brush for like when I want fluffy powders. Then I have an Anastasia, I don't know, Anastasia Water Anastasia brush. This side's just like flat and this side's blending. I have a Real Techniques contour brush that I use to contour. I have a Real Techniques smudge brush that I use for like my brow bone highlight and under my eyes. And this brush I use to usually pack on glitter. It's an it cosmetics for Ulta. What is it called? I can't read it. <laughs> All over shadow brush. It's number one nineteen. Um, I have a naked skin brush. This one's like a fluffier side, and this one's more hot dense. I have a Real Techniques shading brush that I don't really ever use. A Real Techniques dome shadow brush that I use in my crease. In the Techniques Buffing Brush, which is great for my stick foundation. It moves it around pretty nicely. Real Techniques Expert Face Brush for foundation. Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush that I mainly use to blend. And a Real, or not, a Glamour Dolls Crease Brush. So we're going to end this with just a view of all my little brushes in the container. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys all enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe, and leave more video ideas down below. And I will see you loves all in my next video. Bye!